right. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Would you stand? So good to see you. Would you stand, please? 255. Welcome. So good to see you. The Lord blessed this morning. I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to tonight. Amen. Uh, 200, if you will. 255. There's a song book right, right by you there. Right by you there, there's a song book, and uh, right in front of you. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary, Mount of Form, there with the blood of the Lamb was spilled. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. Sin and despair like the sea waves cold, threatens the soul with infinite loss. Grace that is greater, yes, grace untold, points to the refuge, the might. The cross, grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within, grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin, dark is the stain that we cannot hide. What can avail to wash it away? Look, there is flowing a simpson tide, whiter than snow that can be today. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that is greater than all our sins. Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace. Freely bestowed on all who believe. You that are longing to see his face. Will you this moment his grace receive? Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that is greater than all our sin. Let the church say amen. Amen, amen. We are so glad you are here and thrilled that you are here. And um, we're going to get ready for Brother Burley to preach. And he's ready to go. And he's ready to preach, and he's gonna—he's getting ready. And but while he's getting ready, okay, his dear sister, sister Patrice, his dear precious wife, is going to sing, going to sing a solo before he preaches and stirs her husband up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. His cheerleader is going to char <laughs> charge him up. Amen. Now the Holy Spirit will charge him up, and he, he'll get a blessing as Sister Patrice um, will sing a solo. But while they're getting ready, uh, visitors, it's very important that you understand we appreciate you being here. R raise your hand, if you will. Raise your hand. We, we are so glad you're here. Amen. Amen. And you are so loved. Amen. Amen. It, it is so sad. I've been to places. And I'm a pastor. I just felt unwelcome. That's sad. Especially when preachers make you feel that way. That's very sad. My dear friend, Brother John Pitchett, brought some visitors with Amen. him. Love, Brother John. I want them to feel welcome and love. Amen. Amen. And I can tell you, our people love you around here. We just love people. We love God. Got our neighbor here. Amen. He Amen. knows we love him. Raise your hand, Brother Glenn. I tell you. Uh, visitors, you feel welcome around here. We had a great service this morning. God bless. Welcome those online. We thank God for friends. They contact, they contact us. And 
we run into them and they're so thrilled. They're encouraged what's happening and we've got people praying for us and we pray for them and, and God is blessed in such a way today. This is a historical moment for all of us, really, what God's doing here. And um, we thank God you're part of it. You're part of history. You're part of history. And you know what, you're you know what I'm talking about by the time you leave. Amen. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> God is on the throne. And brother, he's outsmarting the devil. Amen. 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 Let's bow our heads in prayer if we will. Father, I thank you for our friends that are here, the ones that are watching online. And, and I give you the praise for them. I really do. And I thank you for the love for you. I pray for them. You bless them. And I pray, dear God, uh, Lord, honor them for praying for us. Lord, thank you for meeting with us this morning and how you blessed and God tonight. And then this entire week, we are looking for the blessings of God. We are looking for the blessings of God. And I pray that you would just bless these that are praying for him right now. Before you be seated, we're going to do something before she sings. Um, you know, um, each each time, you know, of course, Brother Burley, we, we got something special for you. You're preaching against Wednesday. Um, I think we got something for you. You know, you know, you know that. And we always get you, get you something, especially your birthday. Too. <laughs> you know that. But we also have something. We, we're honoring the preachers, you know. Brother Tim, do we, are we have his ready? We got, we, Brother Tim, Brother Tim preached this morning. His son preached. Brother Tim, would you come up here? He pre By the way, listen to that message. It's online. Um, it's online. We got something to give each each preacher that preaches. Let's let's come on up here if you can, Brother, Brother Tim. I want you to listen to that message. It's up there on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, each preacher we're going to honor with, with something, you know, and something to say about him. But Brother Tim. I, I have the honor as a pastor, as, um, Brother Bro. Some truth. I remember that he was born. I remember when Brother Tim was born, and I, I had the privilege as a pastor him when he's a baby, and, and, and a toddler, junior, a teenager, and, and a young adult, and, and watch his life. Amen. And he loves the Lord. He just serves God around here, and um, so much he does for the Lord. And Brother Tim, we love you so much. And what a sermon! What a we'll rem, we'll never forget that message. Uh, it's up there. Listen to it. And he does a wonderful job just serving God around here. Brother Tim, this is wonderful, a wonderful certificate of appreciation, Brother Tim Burley, for standing strong by abiding in the word of God and overcoming the wicked one for Christ's sake. Amen. Give him a wonderful hand. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being a joy to our hearts and just giving your life around here as a humble servant of God. He's a volunteer. Amen. He volunteers. Amen. Um, he volunteers more than some of these so-called preachers. <laughs> So-called pastors. <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> I mean, God's hands on them. Ain't that right? <laughs> God bless you, Brother Tim. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, bless Brother Tim's life. We pray a special prayer, watching over him, protecting him. There's no telling how you're going to use him more in the future. And dear God, we bless his, bless, bless his mother, Sister Patrice, as she, as she ministers. And then Brother Burley. Oh, God, thank you so much for Brother Burley. Thank you for um, the servant spirit. Oh, bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. You can be seated before Sister Patrice sings. Let me say, she's going to sing a solo. And Brother Burley, after she finished singing, you just get plugged up and go right ahead. But I want to let the people know all through these years of all your faithfulness. Oh, let me tell you something. Every, every, let me tell you something. Every good church has good people, and every good preacher has somebody that helps them right beside them and just helps them labors. And I'll say thank you publicly. He, oh, all these years, I have the privilege just watching this family grow up around here and applying the truths and seeing God bless his hands on him. God's given him a special a power of the Holy Ghost of God on him, an, an anointing uh, you'll see when he preaches. And um, we call him Machine Gun Burley. Amen. <laughs> he just, he just, he, he, the, the word of God would just be spread out there. Uh, he, he, you say, what, who's he shooting after? Shooting after the devil. He loves you, but he's shooting after the devil. So, Okay. You understand that? Because he loves you, and you're going to get something special in a few moments. Father, bless Brother Bro. Thank you for his faithfulness. Thank you for his servant spirit, and may you pour your spirit upon him uh, tonight in a great way. In Jesus' name, bless his wife as she sings. Holy Spirit, help her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Trace Bro. There are some things I may not know. There are some places I can't go. But I am sure of this one thing, that God is real, for I can feel him deep within. My God is 
Some folks may doubt. Some folks may scorn. All can desert and leave me alone. But as for me, I'll take God's part. For God is real and I can feel him in my heart. My God is real. He's real in my soul. My God is real for he has washed and made me whole. His love for me is life for gold. My God is real for I can feel him in my soul. I cannot tell just how you felt when Jesus took your sins away. But since that day, yes, since that hour, God has been real for I can feel Amen. his holy power. Amen. My God is real. Yes. He's real in my soul. Amen. My God is real. For he has washed and made me whole. Amen. His love for me yes. is life for gold. Amen. My God is real. Him in my soul. Amen. 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 <clears throat> amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for that song. Amen. Amen. If you got your Bible tonight, amen, if you will, and stand, you should have your Bible, amen. Amen. Well, now you don't have, we'll help you out. Grab your Bible tonight, if you will, and uh, stand with me, and uh, we'll read in the Word of God here tonight, and um, 1 John, if you have your Bible, 1 John in chapter 4 verse 7 through 16 then we'll read these verses responsibly and uh, I read the first verse and then you come in and read the second verse and so on all the way down to verse 16 first John chapter 4 verse 7 through 16 okay and uh, amen and our text verse uh, tonight would be in verse 16 and also we also we uh, will hit hit much on verse 11 too as well okay amen so anyway let's let's begin to read uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 through 16. I'll read the first verse and read the second verse. So on our way down to verse 17, and we'll read it responsibly. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that love is, is born of God and knows God. He that love is not, he that love is not, knoweth not God, for God is what? Love. And this was manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to also love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another and God dwells in us and his love is perfected in us, hereby know we that, we that dwell in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. Herein is love made perfect, perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Let's pray at this time. Head bow and eyes closed. We go to the Lord in prayer at this time and ask the Lord blessing on the message at this time. Father, we come before you. And Lord, we thank you, dear God, once again for this rare Bible conference, dear Lord. We thank you, dear Jesus, for this sixth annual meeting. And I thank you, Lord, just having the privilege to preach in this meeting tonight, Lord. And Pastor, give me an opportunity to preach in, in this conference, dear Lord. And we thank you for what this conference stands for and what we're trying to do try to make a difference in our society today. And I pray that you give me grace, give me mercy. I pray that you fill me with the Holy Spirit, that you take control, 
now, dear Lord, we want you to take completely control. And Lord, I hide myself behind the cross. And Lord, I want you to get the preeminence and I want you to get the glory and the praise and that you be lifted up in honor through everything that Lord has said and done. And we'll thank you for it all. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. So, you know, I want to preach this sermon tonight, not, and I'm very, uh, not going to be very long. Amen. I'm going to get out the way and give Brother Barnett time to preach. Amen. And uh, but just something the Lord laid on my heart tonight. You know that, you know, we 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 live in a generation today where we got so much for the going on today, with the especially in the world where they just trying to trying to divide the United States of America. Amen. And I just want to emphasize tonight, you know, especially the liberals tonight. Amen. And they're trying to divide our country. And uh, but you know, but we need to you know God is love. You know, I want to preach on tonight. God is love. So love one another. Amen. We need to love one another. Amen. And so in verse 16, the Bible said, herein is love, not that we love, not, not that we love, that he loved us. And he sent his son to be the propitiation for our sin. Jesus, thank God that God showed his love to us. You know, you know the Bible said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave, gave his only begotten son that for whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God, God loved this world and he gave his only begotten son and he gave Jesus to die for everyone. Amen everyone and i thank god that he loved the world amen and so no matter who you are amen god loves you whether you're black whether you're white whether you're asian you're latino it doesn't matter who you are tonight amen what's your race ethnicity or who you're what's your position or what's your condition tonight it doesn't matter the bible said god loves you amen because god has loved because god has loved and saved us out of hell amen let us let, so since god has loved us and since he has saved us and given us eternal life amen uh let us love one another in verse 11 look at verse 11 if, if you will the bible said beloved if god so love us we ought to also love what love what now one another amen because as god has loved us amen he has loved us so the Bible says, so God, if, 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 beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to also to love one another. Amen. And we ought to be showing that love, you know, that Christ has, you know, saved us out of hell and given us eternal life. We ought to be want, uh, having that love to be flowing through us to others and to have that compassion to other people and want to love people and get, no matter who they are, and get them saved by the grace of God. Amen. But you say, Brother Burley, they, they, are, they are not my kind tonight. Uh, we have no dealings um, uh, with them. Uh, uh, Peter had that problem, amen. But God had to correct him, amen. And the Bible, you know, the, uh, the Bible said to Peter, rise, Peter, and kill and eat. Rise, Peter, you know, in Acts chapter 10. Rise, Peter, eat and kill. And Peter said, not so, Lord, because they are black. Help me now. Because they are white. Help me now. Because they're Latino. Help me now. Because they're Asian. No matter who they are, amen, uh, the Lord told Peter, what God has cleansed, that call, that call not thou common, amen, or unclean, amen. And so God loves everybody. I thank God that our church that here in, in this Reaching All Races Conference by the grace of God, that we don't, we don't go skin winning around here, bless God. We go soul winning. Somebody say amen. We go soul winning. We don't go out and say, oh, well, I'm, with, I'm looking for a certain kind. No, we don't do no stuff right there around here. Amen. The Bible says, go ye in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. And so we don't go around skin winning. We go soul winning. Somebody say amen. And when you go out there knocking on doors and get people saved by the grace of God, you ought to be looking for people, souls for the, for the, for the kingdom of God and getting people saved. Amen. God owes everybody to be saved. Peter had to get right with God on this matter, and he ended up getting right with God on this matter, and God had to show him and that he was wrong, amen. He said, God showed me. I love the word in the, in the book of Acts chapter 10. He said, God showed me that there's, there's nobody uh, unclean, nobody common, and God had to get all of his heart, amen. And, and he ended up leading the family, the whole household of Cornelius to the Lord, amen. So the question tonight, are you still arguing with God tonight? Not so, Lord. Not so, Lord. Now, I might get some of you mad tonight. Somebody say amen. Uh, not so, Lord. Um, uh, are you, I, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, you need to stop arguing with God. Not so, Lord. I, I can't win uh, a different races and different ethnicity to the Lord. I can't get them saved by the grace of God. You shouldn't say not so, Lord. You say, I'll be saying, yes, Lord. Are you afraid that the girls may start liking the boys? Somebody say amen. Help me now. 
Are you afraid that, oh, we bring different kinds in? They may start liking one another. Amen. Well, you know, let's, let's get the Bible in on this tonight. Somebody say amen. There's mixed races and couples throughout the Bible. Somebody say amen. You might not like it tonight. You might have another different type of narrative tonight. But in the word of God, you can't never bring the Bible in on a bunch of garbage like that. It's straight out of hell. Somebody say amen. You got the book of, the book of Acts chapter 16, verse 1. Timothy was a Jew. Was, his mother was Jewish. His father was Greek. Therefore, Timothy was mixed. Somebody say amen. Help me now. I, I, I got, I got my, my, I love my new family, amen. My, my family just, I got all kinds of my family now. Somebody say amen. My little precious grandson, I love him to death. I love my son-in-law, he's white. I love my, my love, love my, my two son-in-law, they're both white. Love them to death, amen. Don't look at them and don't, don't look at them at a, like a bunch of racists. I thank God, I love him to death. I love my, love my son, love my, my son-in-laws, love my future daughter-in-laws to come. Somebody say amen. Amen. Brother, we, but we got to get off this kick of this race thing because the devil is using it tonight. Somebody say amen. Moses married the Ethiopian woman in Numbers chapter 12. Esther, who was Jewish, who was a Jewish queen, married King Ahasuerus uh, from the Medes and Persians tonight. Um, Boaz, who was Jewish, and uh, married Ruth, and, uh, and you know about the story there. Moab, uh, and she was a Moab there, Ruth was Moab, and Boaz was Jewish. And uh, you know the Lord David came from there, and from the lineage of that, that lineage there, Jesus Christ came from that lineage. Somebody say amen. Joseph, who was Jewish, married Potiphar's daughter, uh, who was an Egyptian, in the book of Genesis. Brother, don't never bring the Bible in on a bunch of race crap tonight. Somebody say amen. You may have a narrative tonight or personal views tonight, but keep the Bible out of it. Somebody say amen. The Bible said, be thou unequally yoked together with unbelievers. And that's the only problem I see in the Bible when that issue right there comes up is if they, if they save or they're not saved. Somebody say amen. The first thing on the agenda when, I, when my two son-in-law came to ask my daughter to marry them and admit them in Bible college, amen, the first thing on my agenda not was concerned about their race. I'm concerned about the, are they going to love my daughter, are they going to love God, are they going to serve God and be, the, be, the, be a man and a provider for my daughter. Somebody say amen. That's the main thing that was all my concern, that I was concerned about. Amen. And they're soul winners. So I'm going to say amen. And they, all, they both were serving the Lord tonight. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. Thank God for that. If they're saved and believers and their parents are for it, bless God, leave them alone. Somebody say amen. Several things tonight. Amen. And I'm going to get out of the way and get past the time to preach. Somebody say amen. Several things tonight in that, that uh, why we should love one another. Number one, we all are sinners. Somebody say amen. We are all are sinners and in the same condition. The Bible said in Romans 3.23, for all who have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible said in Romans 3.10, as it is written, there's none righteous, no, not one. We all are in the same condition and we all are in need of a Savior. Somebody say amen. amen. All are sinners. All need to be saved. Amen. amen. It ain't skin, it's sin. Somebody say amen. amen. It ain't skin, it's sin. Amen. And the Bible says, in Romans 3.23, that all have sinned, all have come short. Everybody, no matter who they are, have come short of the glory of God. Amen? Amen. And so anyway, let's move to number two. Several things tonight. Why we should love one another. We are all one blood. Somebody say amen. We are all one blood and the human race. Nobody is better than nobody. Somebody say amen. Acts 17.26. You, you, we don't, uh, uh, Acts 17.26 it tells us there that we are all of one blood and one race. Somebody say amen. By the way, the liberals tonight, listen to me now, the liberals and the communists and the Marxists tonight, listen to me now, they are using this tonight in our country to divide the United States of America. We've never seen it like we ever seen it before. You keep up with the news, the Marxists, we got, I believe we got Marxists and communists in our government right now running our government. And I believe they are doing all they can to divide this country on race. Amen. Trying to line my skin up. By the way, line my skin up. You don't get somebody mad. Trying to line my skin up as a black man with, L, with the LGBT crowd. Help me now. Now listen now. LGBT crowd, that's sin. Somebody say amen. That's in the book. Amen. But it ain't saying that my skin is sin. Somebody say amen. But that's sin when a, when a man want to sleep with another man and another woman with another woman and when another man, that, and try, brother, we have lost our living. We have gone insane tonight in the United States of America tonight and we better get right with God and realize that the liberals and the Marxists are trying to destroy our country tonight. Come on, say amen. They're trying to destroy us tonight. 
And we got to fight by the grace of God and say, listen, bless God, this, it ain't sin, it ain't any, brother, it's sin, and we got to realize the levels are trying to destroy this nation. I said I wasn't going to bring that up tonight. But I need to be sad. Somebody say amen. But this LGBT stuff crowd, DEI, the diversity, equity, inclusive type of stuff that's spread out of hell, I call it not DEI, I call it DIE, need to die. Somebody say amen. It needs to die. But they use this race stuff tonight. And the ultimate goal to get us against one another. And we got to realize what the devil is trying to do tonight. Amen. And that's where we got to outsmart the devil tonight and get the gospel to every creature like the Bible tells us to do. And listen, if we don't have no race problem, let's show them that we are not that way. Somebody say, man, let's show them. Let's show the marshes. Let's show the liberals. Let's show them that we're not that way. Somebody say, man. We're not that way. We got to reach everyone tonight with the gospel. Yes, everyone with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? Come on. Come on. And we got to go and let the people know we love them. Come on. Come on. I'm so glad that we run our buses around here. We go pick up people at the buses, and we don't, we don't go and say, well, you, you can't get on our bus because uh, you're not our kind. No, you, no, we love people. We bring them here, and we feed them, we close them, and we care about them, and let them know we love them. Amen. We don't want to never think that we're better than anybody. That's why I say amen. We're not better than nobody. We are, all we are tonight is a sinner saved by the grace of God. It weren't for Jesus. We're all being held tonight. That's why I say amen. We're all being held tonight. It weren't for the grace of God. Amen. Woo. Come on. Come on. Preach on. Preach on, brother. Woo. Come on. Let us tonight show them that we love one another. Amen. Come on. Come on. Let, us, let us show them that. Another thing really we should love one another because God is love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is love. Yes. The Bible said in 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, that love is of God. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, he that dwelleth not, he, he that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. Amen. Do you know him tonight? Smile and say amen. Do you know him tonight? Well, you ought to have some love in your heart. Smile and say amen. This, I'm not tired of Christians talking about how many love Jesus. Oh, I, talk, I love Jesus. Well, bless God, won't you start showing some love? Somebody say amen. Love for the stick and talk. I'm not what you love God. Bless God, show it. Somebody say amen. Let's not be a bunch of, uh, be a bunch of uh, uh, talkers all the time. Show, show God what you believe. Show God your faith tonight that you love God. Somebody say amen. Come on, brother. Do you know him tonight? Yes. Love your brother then you know him tonight. Somebody say amen. Do you know him tonight? Yes. Love your sister tonight by the grace of God. Do you know him tonight? Well, love sinners tonight. Amen. Do you know him tonight? Well, love your mom and dad and get out there and get, and get people saved by the grace of God. Amen. Do you know him? But, 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 well, you got a button there. Somebody say amen. I love God. You got a button there, but maybe you just need to get saved. Amen. Now, I'm not trying to talk about the salvation tonight, but bless God, we need to start having to show the love of God. Amen? Amen. We need to start love, showing the love of God and get the gospel to every creature. Amen? Amen. Amen? And so I hope this motivated you tonight. Amen? Amen. And I just want to uh, just motivate you tonight. That I'm, I, I just want to be alone with tonight. But I just want to motivate you to bless God, to love God, and, and show the world uh, that you care and not just talk it, but show it. Amen? And uh, we got to get, we got to realize what Satan trying to United, do to the United States of America. We got to pray like we never prayed. And the, the devil trying to bring our nation down to ruin. And uh, we got to outsmart the devil of what he's trying to do in our nation. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank for the word of God tonight. Lord, Holy Spirit, dear Lord, thank you for giving the message tonight. I pray that you please help us, dear Lord, to apply what we heard tonight, dear Jesus, and show people that we love Jesus and, and love and, and show that we help us to love one another dear Lord love one another yeah. the Bible said love one another yeah. amen no matter who they are yeah. let's show love in Jesus name we pray yeah. amen amen, amen. amen. Oh, my. praise the Lord hallelujah give them a hand cheer them on amen 395 in your song book let's everybody stand 395 we're going to sing farther along in your songbook. Would you stand, please?
Wonderful, Brother Burley. That is going to, that is a classic. Uh, but by the way, it's needed to hear all across the country and all around the world. We're breaking history. I, to, I told you so. <laughs> you said, Preacher, how are we breaking history? Uh, question, where have you heard a sermon like that? Yeah, you heard it around here with me preaching. I know that. Don't say never. You heard me preaching. <laughs> I'm talking about our people. Uh, 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 well, never if you, you were here. I, I thought some of our people said that. But, but, but maybe some of you that never here. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, um, um, this, is, this is classic in our, in our generation that it needs to be preached. And, and people are scared on pins and needles while the socialists and communists, communists are taking over our country and voting it in with the black populist vote. Because they're deceived. They're made to think that we got precious white people here. These are my friends, my buddies. But you know they're lying and saying you're racist? You want to know why? Preachers' friends that get up and say it's a sin to date a black and white one. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about they're preaching that. And they're teaching that. Oh, they won't publicly say it, some of them. Especially our day. Instead of teaching your kids, love God, obey your parents, honor your parents, follow God's direction, you know, they look at this race thing, and I'm telling you, Satan's using it as a stomach block. Yes, and so thank you for just boldly. That's the way I do it. Amen, amen. And that's the way the Lord has taught you here in this church. Amen, amen. And speak boldly the truth. Amen, amen. Now, I'm getting slack because of it, but that's okay. I'm pleasing Jesus. Amen, amen. I'm not politicking. Amen, amen. Brother, if God's for me, who could be against me? Amen, amen. You're my friends. Amen, amen. He said, well, why are you preaching? We want you to spread it. We want you to get bold and share it with somebody. Amen. 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 And we better teach our kids to start loving God's people, no matter what color they are, who they are. They're ser if they're servants of God, just like Moses married that black woman, don't you think you're too good for anybody. Amen. And the parents need not to come across Amen. that they're better than somebody. Right. It's just going to confuse these kids. Amen. I'm going to be honest with you. These, these young ones growing up, right, that's taught right, they, they ain't got no problem. They ain't got no problem. You know? It starts with the parents and the grandparents and the preacher. And there's some black ones just messed up with, messed up in some of the white ones. It's on both sides. And that's why we're having this conference. Amen. We want to be fair and balanced. And thank you, brother. brother. That was fair and balanced. Amen. Thank you so much. All right. Um, what you look at here, we're going to sing here farther along. And uh, 395. 395 here. Okay, 395 farther along. Okay, good, good, great, great. Tempted and tried, we're off me to wonder why it should be thus all the day long while there are others living about us. Never molested, though in the wrong. Father along with know all about it. Father along with understand why. Cheer up my brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and by. When death has come and taken our loved ones, it leaves our home so lonely and drear. Then do we wonder why others prosper, living so wicked year after year? Come on now, Father, along with know all about it. Father, along with understand why. Cheer up, my brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand him all by and by. On the last, when we see Jesus coming in glory, when he comes from his home in the sky, then we shall meet him in that bright mansion. We'll understand it all by and by. Father, along with know all about it. Father, along with understand. 
understand why. Cheer up, my brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and by. Let the church say amen. 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 You, can, you can be seated. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I believe we have some um, bulletins left there. And uh, Brother Tim, I believe I have some on that side. Brother Grant, I believe I have some on that side. We gave them out this morning, but I believe we do have some left. And especially our visitors, make sure they get one of these bulletins and get it in their hand. All right? Thank you so much, and, and um, I appreciate that so much, okay? Brother Petra, you can help them pass out those um, flyers back there on the, on the seat there. Uh, we're going to get some flyers. But Brother Chris, uh, there's some uh, flyers back there with the conference. Uh, I want them to take one home and give one to somebody. I could give them more, but give them the flyer of the conference um, right there, the conference there. But Brother Tim, you can help them. Make sure they got the conference flyer for, and um, uh, right there. Brother um, uh, Grant, make sure uh, Brother Petrie can see the flyers. Give them some of those flyers, okay? Give them some of those flyers, and um, we can we get them. Um, um, Th that will help us um, tr tremendous, tremendous. It'll go faster. Henry, uh, um, Elijah, you, you two real quickly. Yeah, uh, you can help me out with the, um, I got something there on the seat there. You, you'll see it about the Nehemiah Project. Where's the Nehemiah Project one? But Tim will help you. He got it over here. Yeah, pass them out. Um, we're going to get ready to receive our offering. Some of them want to partic participate in this Nehemiah Project. We raise funds. We're getting things done. Tonight, we're having the buckets and beyond Sunday school classes, raising money to help with all the spends. We're, we're getting reminded. We got so much work done, we, and we, we're, got, we're getting more done. But you, you might want to get uh, be a help. Um, can I say this? We're going to get ready in a little while to, to share with you about our buckets and beyond. And thank God for Sunday school teachers. That we got some downstairs. And I guess you hear me downstairs, you Sunday school teachers. You can start making your way up here, and they can, they can start making their way up. Some of the Sunday school teachers that can. Um, well, whoever can, there got a class and um, that want to um, that's going to do this tonight and share what, what, what their class have done, okay? Um, and pray about the Nehemiah project, all right? Um, Brother Tim, there's a letter, a personal letter. Would you pass those out, the letters? And um, I want them to share the letter with. It shares my heart. And then the quotes. There's some quotes there, um, Brother Tim. If you can help them find the quotes, there's a stack of quotes of what I said, some things I said in the rare conference. It says quotes. Everybody got them? Good. You got them? So is everything out? Because I put a bunch of stuff on the seats. Are they all out? Good. The quotes. Let me have one of those quotes. If you, whoever has the quotes. And um, uh, The quotes. It says quotes on it um, of, 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 of the rear conference. Certain things you hear. It says quotes. You have that? It's a stack. It's a stack of paper there. Um, you got them? They're on the table there. Okay? Make sure we get them. You got them now? You find, okay, you see them? Brother Tim, are those the quotes? Brother Tim, find the quotes. Find out where they're at. There's a stack of it. it they're clipped together. Somebody got them. Brother Pentry? Okay, good. Would you, would you, would you um, good. Make, make sure I get one of those. Brother Grant, make sure I get one of those. Bring, bring me one of those there, okay? And um, I want to make sure everybody gets it. There's a bunch of stuff I put back there. And thank, thank you so much. Great. Make sure everybody gets one. Um, no, nah, he's doing it wrong. Brother Brule, help him, Doc. They're, they're, they're all... Well, that's right. That's right. We'll, we'll just we'll start off with this. Is, is, are they clipped together? Do you have them clipped? The, they're clipped together. Brother Burley, help them. They're clipped together. Doc. Help, help them real quick. Yeah, yeah they're, they're clipped together. He's giving one, one sheet. He's thinking the one. Um, there's a clip of them. And make sure they get the, the whole clip. Okay. Great. Good. Wonderful. Um, these are some of the sayings. When you get it, some quotes here will help you. That letter, I'm asking you to share. Okay, the letter. Make sure you share it with people. Okay. Make sure you share the letter. And uh, share, and that letter is right from my heart, okay? It's right from my heart. And share it with people. Now, this, um, would you look at the flyer? Uh, you didn't get the flyer, right? You got that? Would you pray for the speakers, the preacher? You, you're going to, listen, you're, you're intrigued for your life. These guys love the Lord. Brother Snodderly, I'm telling you, he's, he's coming tomorrow night. I want you to pray. God will use him in a great way. It's going to be exciting. Tuesday, Pastor Brandon, he's coming in. And I'll tell you, uh, Danny Brandon, and he's doing such a wonderful job. And um, you're going to be thrilled with what God's doing in his life. And, and, of course, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the rest of the week. But I want you to take that flyer, and I want you, I want you to make sure that you get the flyer in the hands of the people. All right. Wonderful. Great. 
and I believe you got everything. You got the bulletin there. Your visitors got the bulletin, and um, and and I, I want you to make sure you you get a bulletin there, and, and that is great. And you got a bulletin, and uh, are all the bulletins out? You have any left? Are they all out? They're all out. Good. You, you got to um, go ahead and bring me one of those bulletins, and um, and can I say this? I want to thank every one of you that pray for the meeting. God bless in such a way this morning, and and uh, and, and of course uh, uh, tonight. Um, of course, tonight, you know, he's blessed in a wonderful way. And i uh, got some things here we're going to do here. I don't want to forget, all right? We've got some upcoming events that you want to mention. Um, sometimes there's surprises. Look like somebody's getting a surprise here. Um, all right. So we ask you to surprise somebody. Let's see who's getting a surprise here. This surprise, okay. All right. Look like here um, to... Is this? Can you read that, Doc? What is it? What? Jim, Jim, okay. Jamar. Okay. We, Jim, Jim Morris. Great. Birthday, Jim Morris. Perfect. Okay. What about this one? Both of them? Both of them? Are they together? Uh, this one has no. This one has. Um, okay. Yeah. This is. This is. Okay. I guess they're both maybe for them. They both for them? Both of them? Jim Morris? Well, give them both to Jim Morris. Have you got somebody else's gift? And give it back to somebody. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just put him up here. Surprise him. Okay. One, one of them. Well, one of them, Jamoris. Give the one to Jamoris with says Jamoris on it. Give the other one to Sister Wade. Where says Jamoris? Make sure it says Jamoris on it. Okay, good. All right. Happy birthday. God bless you. Well, happy birthday. The happy birthday to you. Sing it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. You, hey man. Well, um, we want to say happy birthday to you. Now, um, let's do this here. Um, let me hear you say tithes and offerings. That's God's way, friend. We are not Southern Baptist Convention. We're not Black Baptist Convention. Our money is not supported by some convention, and they don't come pushing us around. Jesus is our head. We're an independent Baptist church. We are funded by the tithes and offerings of God's people, our church, local church, by God's people. And uh, there is not no headship like the Catholic Church has, uh, Vatican or anything like that. Um, the funds, w w w the way they get their funds and do their funds. And, and we don't support some corruption, okay? We are independent fundamental Baptists, okay? We, we, without, without apology, um, God takes care of our needs in our local church, all right? And, um, and, and that's who we are, you know? Jesus is the head. Who's the head of this church? How do we operate financially? Tithes and offerings. Amen. And, and, and I thank the Lord, and I praise God. God takes care of our needs, you know? He's so good, and, and I give him the praise for it. God's people, you know? We've talked about this longest, all these things. That, you know, that's why I want you to pass out the paper, things are getting done, and and one of the last things is going to be brand new windows. We're going to see God do that too. He's helped us in our van ministry, our bus ministry. We're going to get another bus. But all this is expenses. And um, I thank God for our Sunday school teachers. Each year we usually have something going on with the buckets and buckets beyond. Tonight we call it buckets and beyond. It's going to go beyond what we imagine. God's going to help us get more done. Amen. And um, we got this drop ceiling. It looks so beautiful. Amen. And we got the siding up front. And, and um concrete and all that and um, we just got so much done the pulpit and things that, I remember we raised money for this beautiful carpet and padded pews and so much and things we need around the building God is so good isn't he Amen. so wonderful Amen. and then the conference is just exp there's expenses all this beautiful decorations and all the flyers all the ads for t all the things we do we do it for Jesus we do it for God because we love the Lord Amen. Amen? And um, but it's through the tithes and offerings of God's people, and then you got your regular expenses going on, and then we got speakers. They need love offerings. They need motels. I know some of you wondered how in the world. God, has mercy and His grace. Amen. Your prayers. Amen. 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 And so, um, what I want to say is this: um, I thank the Lord for what God's people do. Sunday school teachers, we're going to let you uh, let you have an opportunity to let um, you know what your class is has done or, or plan to do and Amen. what's going on so that we can rejoice and testify and Amen. praise God. You might have a representative for your class if you want or, or you might want to do it yourself, okay? And um, But just share 
uh, your class. Brother Bill, I'll let you go f uh, first there. And, and we, 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 that'd be wonderful to share. It's a blessing to see and you encourage your Sunday school class. Amen. Um, my class is the uh, Conquerors for Christ and uh, we was able to raise $1,000 there by the grace of God for the, um, for the new windows there. And, uh, and the Lord bless us. Amen. Also, we got, so our church is, we also in our class are giving some to the, plan on giving to the bus ministry too, and that ministry for the, uh, for the windows uh, also. So we hopefully have that, I think we're getting close to that, that thousand, we'll be raising for the, our class, but also we're trying to raise it for the, um, for the bus ministry too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. How, the other ones are downstairs. They're downstairs. They're coming up. Okay. You, no. Okay. Somebody got a representative. Uh, okay. Got a representative. Great. Who's representing? Okay. All right. So while they're getting ready, you come on up. They're gonna represent their class, okay? And we'll let you, um, you know, share uh, with what your class, um, you know, um, uh, is doing there, and they're interested to see. Okay, great, wonderful, wonderful. We give God the praise for these things. Amen. Give God the glory. Amen. Yes, My class is uh, Doves from Heaven, and we raised a thousand as well for the windows. Amen. So. Yes, sir. Amen. And the representatives? Okay, you can come on up. And, all right, Teen, teenage girls' class. Okay, and Sister Barnett's class. And she's downstairs in there. Helping out with the children in the nursery. And, but thank the Lord so much for the teenage girls. Uh, roses for the Redeemer, um, $1,000. Amen. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Great. And some of them downstairs with the children there? Okay. We got, we got another one. Okay, here. Great. Good. Representatives here while they're coming. And thank God. And we. Um, in our class as well, in the Starlight Bible class, and you know, a thousand dollars this week. We know for sure this week, anyway. So praise God for that. It's another thousand. Okay. Right. For representing for the helping hands, and we raised a thousand dollars. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. 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 Represent. Uh, got another one coming. Okay. Good. Uh, Tim, he's actually he, somebody shy over there, too shy. <laughs> Brother Tim's trying to recruit a representative for, for his class. <laughs> he's, he's too too shy. Hey, don't let no uh, uh, girl outdo you. Get get on up here. Come on, come on, come on, man. You can do it. Come on, cheer him on. Come on up. Come on, man. Come on, don't let no uh, girl outdo you. Come on, man. Come on, come on, buddy. No, don't don't wait for Rodney. Come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, don't be a sissy. Come on, get some manhood into you. We're raising a bunch of, some people are raising a bunch of wimps. We don't want no wimps. Come on, come on up here. We want some manhood. Let no girl come up here. You scared to come up here? Shoot. This uh, feminine men uh, type of junk going on. Amen. Amen. We need some men. Amen. Don't, don't be scared. How much? You help them out, Brother Tim. Help them. Don't be shy. Tell them what, share with them. 1,200. What was it? Yeah. Uh, we were at 1,280. Say 1,280. <laughs> yeah. Say it. Come on. Cheer them on. You can say it. Come on. Say it. 1,280. There you go. Cheer them on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And to God be the praise. Give God the glory. Isn't that right? Yeah. For all these things. Okay. And, get, and give, give, God, give God the praise for his goodness. All right? And we couldn't do these things without the Lord. Isn't that right? We couldn't do it without the Lord. And we, we, and we give him the praise. All right? And, um, and, and uh, you write that down, Brother, Brother, Brother Tim, right there. You know, adult um, uh, class there. Uh, we want to move that up to, uh, to at least uh, 1,400, okay? And so uh, uh, this week, we want to make sure that comes in, okay? But we want to we respond and do more for the Lord. Amen. 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 All right? This, this motivates us. And we're calling this the bucket and beyond. Amen. 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 So we're going to take a special offering now. We, let's everybody stand. There's, a, there's an envelope right in front of you or back of you. Um, you can swipe your card. Some people don't carry cash or, ch or checks anymore. Um, Brother Tim Burley will be back there. He'll, you can swipe your card and give it that way. Or you can give online. Go to Grace Bible Baptist Church in Knoxville. We've got a website, and you can give online, okay? And in the bulletin, it shows you I can, you can text give that way. But thank God this is an opportunity for us to give. Amen. 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 
And so what a privilege it is to give. Give and it shall be what? But I've watched God bless us when we give. Yes. He takes care of us, doesn't he? Right. Amen. Especially when we know it's going towards a good cause. Amen. 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 Um, that bus that we're purchasing, and uh, Brother John Pinchak, you can, you, can, you can appreciate this. We pulled that bus up to the rescue mission, and, and, and um, I, I pulled up into the rescue mission. I pulled up there because we showed it to our people. And I'll never forget about three weeks ago. We're going to get that bus. In a couple of weeks we should have it. And thank God, Lynch let us show it to the church. I pulled that bus up in the rescue mission. I've never seen this. I, we're celebrating 38 years. I'm celebrating 30 years passing this church. We're going to have a great celebration Friday. We're going to have a great dinner, a banquet. It's going to be first class. I want, I, I want, I want to encourage you to come, a wonderful dinner. And um, we're going to take some pictures. If that's what you got on your best, we're your best. But I'll tell you, we're going to have, we're gonna, it's going to be a special time after Friday night. We're going to party hardy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Not like the w wicked world does it. I'm talking about God's people. Amen. 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 And, um, and I've been driving that bus. My wife got saved through the bus ministry over 30 years. And the brother Wilkerson's he's in heaven, um, Richard Wilkerson. And I'll never forget. And um, a white brother, love him. And um, went to conferences with him. And he loved me. And he actually trained me how to drive that bus and loved me. Amen. And my wife got saved through the bus ministry. Amen. Amen. And, uh, but I pulled up in the rescue ministry. I pulled up there. I've never seen it in all those years. They just kept coming. They just kept coming. They just kept coming. We packed that bus out. Amen. Amen. I mean, they just kept a big bus Amen. and filled it up Amen. with standing room only. Amen. There's been times I've been down there. It's so cold. There's someone maybe sleeping outside and they're shivering. I'm trying to get them to get warm and come to church. They wouldn't budge. I pulled that bus up. They just kept coming. Amen. That was the Lord. Amen. 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 He's showing us. Amen. You step out by faith. You want to get a bus. Amen. I'll take care of you. Right. Amen. 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 And so I thank God for every one of you that want to have a part in this in the bucket of beyond Nehemiah project. This helps us get this stuff done. Amen. 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 So that we can get more done. Amen. 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 All right. Wonderful. Brother Burley, you come, if you will, and and he'll uh, lead us in prayer, and and uh, we'll give. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask the Lord blessing on our, on our offering at this time. Every head bowed and eyes closed. Father, we thank you, Lord, again, dear Jesus, this opportunity we have to give to thy work, and we pray you bless the offering at this time. Provide every need for us, dear Lord. Thank you for the wonderful news of sending all the money that's been raised, dear Lord, for the for the windows, and we thank you so much. Bless you, Sunday school class. And pray you just continue to bless, continue to be on knees. We thank you, dear Lord, how you showing yourself great once again and then coming through. We thank you. Continue to bless this church. In Jesus' name we, we pray. Amen. Maybe see it. While they're getting that ready there, um, let's everybody stand, please, if we will. Let's everybody stand, if we will. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everybody stand at page 85. Um, page 85. If you can't stand, would you stand? And uh, we're going to sing The Comforter. The Comforter has come. After we sing um, page 85 here, We'll, we'll sing another song, okay? And um, we'll have the choir. We'll have the choir come in a few moments here, okay? And, and sing. Um, the Comforter, let's sing The Comforter Has Come Here, page, page 85. Okay, great. Oh, spread the tidings from wherever man is from, wherever human hearts 
and human woes abound. Let every Christian tongue proclaim the joyful sound. The Comforter has come. The Comforter has come. The Comforter has come. The Holy Ghost from heaven. The Father promise given. Oh, spread the tidings round. Wherever man is found, the comforter has come. The long, long night has passed, the morning breaks at last, and hush the dreadful wail and furry of the blast. As o'er the golden hills, the day advances fast, the comforter has come. The comforter has come, the comforter has come, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father promise given, oh spread the tidings round. The Comforter has come on the last, oh boundless love divine, I'll share this tongue of mine to wonder poor to stand, no match is grace divine, that I, a child of hell, should in his image shine, the Comforter has come. The Comforter has come, the Comforter has come, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father promise given, oh spread the tidings round, everywhere is found, the Comforter has come. All right, we're going to sing this little light of mine. And choir, you can come on up, okay? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine for Jesus. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine for Jesus. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, let's bow our heads in prayer. If we will, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed, and let's go to the Lord in prayer. If we will. Father, I pray that you bless the choir. And I pray, Holy Spirit, you help them sing. And I pray that you be glorified and praised through it all. We thank you so much for your goodness. You've been so good to us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much.
Church say amen. Let me hear you say amen. Amen. All right, get your Bibles there, if you will. And the scripture reading tonight, Esther, in chapter 8, please. Esther, chapter 8, the book of Esther. Would you open up the word of God to the book of Esther, please? The book of Esther. Thank you so much, choir. I appreciate that song so much. Chapter 8, verse 3 through 6, okay, you can read on with Brother Burley here, that's great. And um, in Esther, uh, chapter 8, verses 3 through 6. And thank God for you that's looking for titles, and Brother Tim, you can help them out, make sure they got it there, and when they're making these titles, especially when they're online, and uh, I want them to understand um, uh, these things. Everybody stand, please, okay? And, um, and we're going to share the burdens so great tonight. The burden is, now listen to this, and, and I want you to get this because God's going to stir us up, okay? Of course, the burden is great. It's great for me, but it's not too great for God, okay? It's not too, your burden is not too great for God. Amen. The burden is great. Uh, Esther chapter 8, some of you are burdened down. You have a burden, God's able to help you. Amen. He's, able to, he's able to help you with that burden. Amen. He's able to give, give you victory. He's able to help whoever you, you're burdened for. Amen. Amen. Some of you are burdened for somebody, aren't you? Amen. God's able to help them. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't think it's impossible. And when it looks impossible, that gives a God opportunity. Isn't that right? Amen. And um, we'll talk about this tonight, okay? And Esther chapter 8, verses 3 through 6, okay? And uh, Brother Burley, you go ahead and read if you will. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, again, Esther chapter 8, verse uh, 3 through 6. And then we'll read these verses together. I'll read the first verse, and... Uh, you, First, and then you can read the second verse and so on all the way down to verse 6 and Esther spake yet again before the king and fell down at his feet and besought him with tears to put away the mischief of Haman the Agite and his device that he had devised against the Jews then the king held out the golden scepter towards Esther so Esther rose and stood before the king and said if it pleased the king and if I have found favor in his sight and the thing seemed right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes. Let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agalite, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the king's provinces. For how, for how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto my people, or how can I endure to see destruction of my kindred? Let's pray at this time. Father, again, we thank for the reading of thy word. and. Lord, now we pray you bless the message, prepare our heart for the message, fill the path of burning with the Spirit of God, and give him power and liberty and wisdom, Lord, to bring forth thy message tonight. And dear God, we'll give you glory for what you're going to do in the hearts and lives of God's people. And pray you save your soul and change life. Those who know the Lord, I pray you save their soul from hell, help them trust Christ for the everlasting too late. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You may be seated. Go ahead, drag the nails in my hand, laugh at me where you stand. Go ahead and say I'm dead and gone, but you see that you are wrong cause I rise again and ain't no power on earth can tie me down yes I Death 
can't keep me in the ground. Go ahead and mark my name, my love for you is still the same. Go ahead and say it isn't me, but you will see that you are wrong. Cause I rise again. And I Yes, I rise again. Death can't keep me in the ground. Go ahead and say I am dead and free, but you will see. I soon be free. Go ahead and say it is in me, but no from you. I soon be free. Cause I rise again. Yeah. It ain't no power. Can't tie me down. Yes, I rise again. Death can't keep me in the ground. Yes, I rise again. It ain't no power where can tie me down. Yes, yes I rise again. Death can't keep me in the ground. you for the picture. We love you. Nehemiah, if you will, Nehemiah chapter 8, please, if you will. Thank God for every one of you that ministered, helped us out in music, and thank you, orchestra, thank you, congregation of music, thank you for your presence. You're blessed to me, I will be a blessing to you. And the book of Esther, if we will, in chapter 8, I love the book, I love all the Bible. It's, it's just wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful, greatest book in the world, the Word of God. Isn't that wonderful? God speaking to his people in the book of Esther here. We read a little while ago in Esther chapter 8 here, if you will, in the book of Esther, if you will, in chapter 8. We will not read all of these chapters, but I take it um, many of you have read the book of Esther, and if you've never read the book of Esther, you are mi missing one of the biggest blessings of your life. That's right. And you study this book, there's so much in it. And um, so we, we see here in verse 3, we pick up, and Esther spake yet again before the king. And look what it says. She fell down at, at his feet. She's so burdened. And she and, she, and besought him. And, and look at that there. And, and she's begging him. She's begging him with, with, with tears. Uh, look at that. Begging him, please put away the mischief of Haman, the Agitite and his device that he had devised against the Jews to destroy the Jews. I want you to pay attention. Right over here. Okay, no more. No more fiddling around. Up here! Hey! No more. Look up here. This is church. This is the house of God. Now you be still, and I want you to pay attention. That's right. That's better. It's much better. No more. I'm going to actually go downstairs. 
Okay? I don't want to. I want you to get this. This is very serious stuff. All right? We love you. But you're going to have to pay attention. You can't play. Church is not a time to play during church. All right? So I point your name out. You have to go downstairs. You hear me, kids? Understand? Nod your head. Good. Great. Wonderful. Book of Esther. Thank you so much. And um, verse 4, Then the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther. So Esther rose and stood before the king and said, If it please the king, if I have found favor in his sight, and, this, and, the, and the things seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman, the son of Hamadatham, the agitite, which he wrote, underline this, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the king's province. Now look at verse 6. Now here it is. And I want you to feel the burden. I want you to sense the burden. For how can I endure, how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? And listen, I'm trying to help you tonight. I'm trying to help you tonight. We're talking about when the burden is too great. It may be too great for us, but it's not too great for God. I want you to think about all that Esther went through. I want you to think about it. Are you listening to me? We're a bunch of spoiled brats. Can, we, can you imagine if, if China came and took us away in captivity and separated us? From, or, or, or Russia. And could you imagine if we, are you listening kids? What if you were snatched? Hey, young girls, what if they took you and made you a slave? What if they owned you? Here is a Jewish girl, God's people, the destruction coming upon God's people, God dealing with his people, God bringing them into this land, bringing it to a, a heathen king to do whatever he wants to to you. And God to get a hold of that king's heart and protect you. And that you be treated like a queen. And you understand the, that she missed her brothers and sisters? Do you understand that she missed her mom and missed her dad? Do you understand she, she an orphan, uh, like an orphan, a relative raising her? And I'll tell you, God used that beautiful girl, and God protected her from getting raped, and God protected her Amen. and made her a queen. Amen. Of course, she, uh, 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 thank God for Mordecai, uh, you thank God for the help. And he said, if you tell me, if you tell, if you tell me you're a Jew, they'll kill you. You'll die. They hate Jews. But finally, when you know, you read the book of Esther, when those Jews were about to get killed and destroyed, she had to make a decision. She lose being the, the wealth and the queen and, and, and the comfort and all that, and, and, and that she would be killed. She could be, she could have been killed. She could have been killed when she went before the king, even though you know, she was the wife, even though he was the husband, even though she was a queen. You just don't walk in this, you, you just don't walk in the king's throne room. I'll tell you, that's the way the stinking devil is, though. God says, come boldly to the throne of grace, and the wicked king says, come timidly. But God spoke to that wicked king. Amen. And God touched his heart. And I want you to know, she didn't have all the stinking stuff they put on the face of those other girls that try to be queen. And I'm going to tell you, God made her queen with her beauty that God made her. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. She didn't try to look like no whore. She didn't try to look like no prostitute. She didn't try to show her thighs and legs. She didn't try to show half her breasts. Brother, it's preaching time. We got so many wimps behind the pulpit. Our country's about to be turned into hell. You got a bunch of boys dressing like girls, girls dressing like boys. You can't tell the difference. Rise up, man of God. Rise up. Amen. It's preaching time. Amen. You see, what caused her to be willing to die if she had to? What, what, to lose all her money, to lose all her fame. Brother, there was a burden. There was a burden. There was a burden. There was a burden. Do you have a burden? Amen. I have a burden. That's what this conference is all about. I, it's a burden burning in me. Amen. And Esther had a burden. You said, what was her burden? Her relatives about to get killed. Her people is about to be destroyed. Did you see what Hitler did to the Jews? 
And brother, I don't understand this stuff around this country. Why, why can, and by the way, Paul had a burden. We don't, you don't got to turn to it. Romans chapter 9, Romans chapter 10. Paul had a burden for the Jews, but he wasn't a speaking racist. He loved everybody. He had a burden for the Jew, but he cared for the Gentile. I have a burden for black people, and I love white people. I love Spanish people, but how can I endure in the black community where they're killing each other, in the black community where the crimes and baby mama's this, baby's mama that? Can it? A, got daddies running the street can't even be a husband and these kids growing up without a daddy filling the prisons uh, our country being about turning to hell I can't endure it the stinking Biden lying minis uh, uh, administration and all these sodomites all these homos all these lesbians of course I love the sinners of course Jesus died for sinners but I hate their stinking sin I hate the killing of the babies how can I endure all these babies being slaughtered these wicked politicians uh, using the using what happened in the past to deceive black people today I'm burning I'm burning I'm telling you uh, her burden saved uh, uh, thousands and thank God thousands of Jews uh, her burden uh, 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 oh she had she was such she was burdened look at here in Esther chapter 8 she was burdened she was so burdened and I want you to look at it in verse 3. And Esther spake yet again before the king and fell down at his feet and besought him with tears. Put away this mischief. Don't let him kill my people. I love my people. I'll never forget at Temple Baptist Church in Detroit, Michigan, when I was in Bible college, and the only black person, only black preacher, only black college student, with all the whites and travel in this big, giant, white Baptist church. I'll never forget getting my testimony there, but I'll never forget the blacks were on the altar praying. And I'll never forget when they told me, those black people cannot be baptized. Those black people cannot uh, be members of that church. It was unlawful for them to unite in that church. And I looked at those black kids. They need a good church. They need a preacher that will get up and preach against sin and preach against the devil. They don't need that. Uh, the black kids didn't need some preacher to say, hey, you can't bait that black one. You can't bait that white one. Let me tell you something, black man. If that white one loves God, what's wrong with them they get married? Hey, white person, if they love God, what's wrong with them getting married? If they're Spanish, if they're God's people, I thought Paul said no Jew, no Greek. I thought James said no respect to a person. I thought the Bible says one blood. I thought it's one race, Adam's race. Brother, we ain't no stinking communist. We ain't no stinking atheist. We ain't no stinking junk. Brother, we're Christians. I thank God the Southern Baptists were able, thank God, I know they got some problems, I know they got some troubles, I know they got some things that are messed up, and I know they're not independent, fundamental, separated, I know they're, they got a lot of things going wrong, but one thing they got right, when I wish many of the fundamentalists, and I wish many of the whoever they may be, would stand up and just condemn racism, and call it out, and, and they said they're sorry for saying blacks are inferior, they're sorry for teaching stuff in the Bible that it's wrong to get married. They said, I'm sorry for uh, the racism that we have experienced in our history. Thank God they were willing to confront it and say we're not that way today. And they went as far as to say, if a brother is a stinking racist, we will fellowship with him. Now everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I thank God that God put upon my heart when I seen that mess in Bible college 40 years ago. But I said, one day I'm a pastor of church and it's not going to be all black church. And it's not going to be all white church. Especially if you've got white people around. And these black preachers talk about we're in the South. We're still segregated, and we can't get together, and you can't make them come in. That's what they're telling them. They, some of them are getting on your preacher. You know what they're saying? Stop preaching this stuff. You can't make people. You can't change them. If they want to have their all white church, leave them alone. It ain't going to change. For example, a great meeting, crying, falling out, power of God, great faith. 
preaching. I'm talking about preaching. Woo! Screaming. Get it. I love you, God. Power of God. Miracle of God. Yeah, right. right. Raise the dead. He'll, God can do anything. A million black people around them, and they can't have one black person there? Can't have one black? Not one black family? A million? Some have two million? Something's wrong. That great message about the power of God, you can't get one? Amen. We're getting white people here. Amen. We're getting you here. Amen. God has put such a love of God in my heart. Amen. We're going to find some. Amen. Spanish speaking. Amen. 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 Whatever. Amen. Amen. If it moves around here, we're bre if it breathes, we're going after it. When I see that, I had such a burden. It's been building up in my heart. Paul said I have a burden. Paul said I continue sorrow when I think about the Jewish people. You know, I want you to see how what she did, and I want you to look at it, please, if you will. And I want you to see that the Bible says here, and I want you to look at it. It says that she fell down at his feet. And besought him with what? Tears. With tears. She's such birth, she's crying, she's weeping. I I can't help but to remember Mark chapter 14. Would you would you would you would you turn to Mark chapter 14? Turn to Mark chapter 14 in your Bible. This reminds me of this precious woman that fell down at Jesus' feet. Isn't it wonderful? Amen. Isn't this great? And the Bible says in Mark chapter 14, verse 1, after two days was the feast of the Passover and of the leavened bread, and the chief priests and the scribes saw how they might take him by craft and put him into death. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. Look at verse 3. And being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment, a sp spikener, very well, precious. precious, and she broke the box and poured it on his head. And there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, why was this waste of this ointment made? For might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor. And they murmured a what? Against her. And Jesus said what? Let her alone. Why trouble ye what? Her. She hath what? She hath wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you what? Always, whensoever ye will, ye may do them. And, and but me ye have what? Not always. She hath done what she could. And, and, and she, she has come uh, aforehand to what? Anoint my body of the what? Uh, 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 of the bearing. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever this gospel shall be what? Preached throughout the what? whole what? World. world. This also that she hath done shall be what? Spoke of a memorial of her. And she came to Jesus. And she's begging him. And she's pleading him. She pours this ointment on him. I, I think about the dear sister that came and, and even uh, prayed and fell down on his feet. And you remember that? Washing uh, his feet with her hair. And she's with tears. And I think about this lady. She comes and she crowns him king. She's coming before the king of kings. And Esther comes with tears. And Esther falls down. And, and I'm talking about she falls down before an earthly king. And she comes and she beseeches him. And she she begs him, let me tell you something, brother, if an earthly king can respond to Esther, there's a king of kings. If you bring your burden and pray and pray for yourself and pray for your relatives, the king of kings, he can do more for what this king did for Esther. He can do more. Thank God for this king that helped her to deliver her loved ones. But you serve the king of kings, the Lord of God. Take your te tears to God. I've got to bring this burden. i got to cast it on the Lord. I am burdened for the rescue mission. I am burdened for you precious ones that comes. I'm burdened for you helping hand ministry. I'm burdened for you young teenage girls and teenage boys and all the wicked pornography. And I'm, I'm somebody getting pregnant with not being married. Ain't got no daddy in the home. I'm burdened of these young kids are getting slapped around and overdosing. I'm burdened about the adulterous and the divorces. I'm burdened about the wicked perverse rap music. I'm burdened of so many young girls losing their
impurity and virginity. I'm burdened of the stinking incest and the rapes. I'm burdened up there in the Biden ministry promoting communism, deceiving black people, and using politics and destroying uh, the black uh, cities of our country. I'm burdened when I see them go and steal and kill and rob and kill each other. I'm burdened when I see these white fundamental Baptist churches don't go in the black community and care is church churches and plant churches. The white missionary, the white preacher, many of them will go to Africa, but they'll fly over Atlanta. They'll fly over Mississippi. They'll fly over Alabama. Now they'll fly over the black parts of East Knoxville. And they won't, they, and listen, they won't come and love and care. And there are some white preachers that think they're too good to be my assistant pastor. And they're so scared their kid might end up marrying a black girl or dating a black girl. I'm burdened across the country. Help that black preacher. Our old black preacher, help that white preacher. Help him to reach the black community. Help him to love, love him, and help him to reach the black community. Martin Luther King said in the 1950s, we don't need no all black church. We don't need no all white church. He said that in the 50s. I thank God for these dear white people here tonight that know I love them. I thank God for my white brothers and sisters. Let me tell you something. I know a lot of fundamental Baptist leaders blasted Martin Luther King. I know he had some faults, but somebody should have blasted John R. Rice, the fundamental preacher, when he says blacks ought to be segregated and blacks are not to be dated in the white ones, and you ought to keep them in the other schools. You ought to keep them over there. Oh, black people needed better schools. Black people, they, they, they need what everybody else. If white people could eat at McDonald's, black people should have been able to be at McDonald's. If white people ought to go to Disney World, black people should have been able to go to Disney World. Everybody like a Big Mac attack. Everybody like the Goldie the King of, 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 of the Whopper. Not the impossible Whopper. They need to put that back on the shelf. Give me an old-fashioned Whopper. I, <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anybody home? I thank God for John Rice. I thank God for a soul winning. I thank God for the souls. I thank God for what he did. I thank God hanging up at Crown College up there, Temple Baptist Church in Detroit, Michigan, showing that big multi-million dollar ministry. Thank God for the thousands of crowds of John R. Rice, many getting saved, but not one black family. Teach at Crown College. Teach at Temple Baptist in Powell. Teach about the greatness of Dr. John R. Rice. To call them the doctor. But say just like Peter had a flaw, we love him, but he had a flaw. Paul had to correct him in the face. And say you do not well separating yourself. Amen. Somebody, anybody home? Amen. I'm the troublemaker for bringing it up. I'm the divider, they say. No, I'm trying to unify black people and let them know every white preacher is not making the mistake of John R. Rice. And the, and the Crown College students are not messed up. And, and, and the Hiles Anderson students are not messed up. Or the Golden State is not messed up. Or West Coast is not messed up. They're learning from the mistakes of great leaders. And this generation must rise up and slap the philosophy in the face of these liberals and socialists and communists and say we're not teaching this great uh, critical race theory. Every white preacher is not a racist. We're not like that. We've made some mistakes. But don't get up there and only preach it. Live it. Don't be scared to have me to preach either. Well, Brother Bully preached what I preach against this junk of interracial junk. Preach it behind the pulpit. All this thinking politics and scared to get somebody mad. Our country's about to be turned into hell. Amen. Scared you're going to lose some member. Still scared you're going to lose some KKK person. Amen. Or some Black Panther. You should hear the excuses I'm hearing from these preachers why they can't come to our meeting this week. You wouldn't believe what I've been hearing. Thank God, Brother John, you weren't, you weren't scared to bring your buddies tonight. I'm sure he's, he, he told you a bunch of, uh, he told you a lot. You could have chosen not to come. Amen. <laughs> Brother John keeps on coming. Amen, 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 amen. He's heard 
their sermons, they're so hot behind this pulpit, you get burned. Hey, put your hands on it. <laughs> Here he comes again. He loves the Lord. Have you almost been to hell and back, and he keeps going on? He ain't quit. Amen. Amen. You're such a burden. Such a burden. I just love people. I went soul winning in New York where they say, kill black people, never should be there. I went there. These white boys came and touched me on the shoulder. I thought they were going to put a knife in my back. He put his hand on my shoulder. He said, sir, can you please tell me some more about that Jesus? I look forward to seeing him in heaven. I look forward to seeing him in heaven. I had nobody to go knocking on doors, soul winning, telling folks about Jesus. So I went by myself. And the areas they say you better not go into. Love people. Love people. Amen. Amen. I never forget when I was in Bible, Bible college. I had such a burden. As far as independent fundamental Baptist preachers, I, 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 I didn't see any. I didn't see none. But I'll never forget, in Bible college, I, I ran into Brother Lou Bowen, Pastor Lou Bowen. And I ran into Pastor Lonnie Stenson as a college boy, a college boy. And I'll never forget, Pastor Bowen loved me. I flew on the plane from Boston, from Bible College to Washington, D.C., the church he, he just got started. I was so thrilled to see. There was hundreds and thousands and thousands of white people in churches I went to. I slept in their homes. I went to their churches. They loved me. But I stopped by this church and found out they couldn't baptize black people. Blacks could not be members. They loved me. I gave my testimony in the churches. My lifetime in the 80s. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The president of my college was the pastor of that church. I graduated. And these whining black boys, whining and crying, bothers me. Yes, come on, come on. Wimps. Come on. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, sir. No backbone. Let me tell you something. You don't let no white man stop you, no black man, nobody stop you doing what God wants you to do. If God be for you, who can be against you? God to deal with them. By the way, God deal with that church, Temple Baptist Church, Detroit, anyway. They lost it all. All the millions of dollars, all the millions of property, they lost it. God take care of it. Because you pamper that stinking junk, some, some old sinner, some, somebody's going to get you. You go ahead and preach pamper that garbage, they'll get you some other way. And I'll tell you, a lot of those churches don't even exist anymore. We're going on. Our lights are burning. Amen. We're, the church is going on for God. Amen. 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 Got to deal with that. And by the way, you, you ever think about Joseph's brothers, what they did to him? Hey, girls, look up here. Joseph's brothers did him dirty. Know what Joseph said? I forgive you. Amen. He, he didn't say, I'm going to get you back. You got to pay me reparations. Uh, for, first of all, these Amen. precious white people in our day and time, they didn't put people in slavery. Come on now. Why should you take precious white people's money? Come on, preacher. Preach on, Amen. That's stupid. Amen. Come on, Come on. You don't punish white people for what white people did back then. Come on, and neither should you punish black people for what they did back then. Amen. Look, my brother got shot in the heart, walking out of the Dunkin' Donuts, a bowl of soup in his heart by a Marine racist. That shot him and killed him. That slumped over. My brother had a look at my brother, the hole in his heart. I wasn't there. Uh, I'd be stupid to hate every point white man, Marine, that what this white man did. Stupid to hate good police officers, what bad uh, white police officers did to black kid, uh, people. Got to deal with those police officers. Amen, amen. But I thank God for the police officers. Amen, amen. Man, they're there to rescue you, to help you, most of them. They're here to care about you. They don't even know if they're going to come home. That's right. Come on now. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. You got to be so kind to them. Amen. 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 I pulled up at the rescue mission. They were all out. They're all white, all police officers. They're all white. They're at the rescue mission. They, somebody they go there every day. You rescue mission people know what I'm talking about. And we love you. But them, them police are there all the time. I pulled that bus up, and I was so kind to them. I gave him a, a conference flyer. 
And I, I, by the way, in that flyer, I'm so glad it wasn't all black. And I'm glad it, that flyer was all white. And by the way, the excuse of these white preachers, listen, I'm not talking, hey, I'm busy. I'm not trying to get some bookings. I just came from Chicago last week. There's no place like home. I preach in a number of churches. I'm not saying they got to get me. But you're going to tell me they can't find one black preacher to preach in their church? Let it get quiet. Or maybe once every decade. All the conferences they have. Come on. I mean, in the finals, the whites and blacks are getting together. On the football field, they're getting together. You know, I can understand a white preacher ain't got no black people around his area, but when you got a million, something's wrong. Come on now. And I can imagine that black preacher, he's up there, ain't got no white people. I don't know, I don't know where that is, but <laughs> he might have to go 30 minutes, but he'll go find one. Come on now. Amen. 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 Ain't that right? Amen. Am I telling the truth? Amen. I'm so burdened. I am so burdened tonight, but the burden is not too great for God. And God responded to Esther. Amen. Amen. And God responded to Paul the Apostle. Amen. And God helped them to see great things done. Yes. Amen. And I, I'm just saying tonight, bring our tears and fall down to Jesus' feet. Them nail scarred feet. And think about those feet that walked up in Galilee and up in the mountains. And foxes have holes. Birds have nests. The Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. He walked to the Samaritan woman. And she said, the Jews have no dealings with, with, with the Samaritans. But he said, I love you. I care about you. He cast out the demons. He cast out the devil. He went here. He went there. He went yonder. Let's, how beautiful are the feet of God that bring the gospel Amen. fall at his feet those wonderful feet fall at his feet Amen. and bring your burden it's too big for me when I go down to the rescue mission and I see them sleeping on the uh, on the street when I go to the rescue mission and I see them, some of them possessed by the devil talking to themselves when I go down to the rescue mission it hurts me to see the condition but I gotta bring it before God I got to get bring this burden for God I was so encouraged in Chicago, I preached for Pastor Liddell, and these businessmen walked up to me, these business uh, means of money, uh, of businessmen. And I said, where you come from? Oh, they say, we used to be in the rescue mission. And I, I, I looked at the vehicle they were driving, how God blessed them in such a way. And I looked at the business. And I'll tell you something, friend, that encouraged me. And I love our Helping Hands ministry. And I love our rescue ministry. That's why I tell our people, be very kind to the ones that we pick up at Carmel. That's right. They might one day be your boss. That's right. You know, be very kind to them. They may one day be your mayor or governor. Be very, very kind. They might be a police officer one day going to give you a ticket. I always say to somebody's daddy, somebody's mama, to somebody's brother or sister. Don't worry about me. I'll never do it. I'll never be that selfish. I love my church. I love, I love my children. I love you too much. But there's preachers that put a bullet in their head. Pastors. Because they don't cast a burden on Jesus. You got to go before the king. You got to, this is his work. He loves these people. You see people overdosing. You see people drunk. You see people out of their mind. You see where they lost everything. Everything. Have nothing. I think about my buddy, John Pinchick. I love him so much back then. You ain't got to share it all with him, Brother John. But that's enough to put a bullet in your head. Thank you for not doing that. Thank you. Thank you. You go before the king. Just bring your tears before the king. This, my people know what's on my heart. I, I, 
It's my life. It's my life to reach all people. I long, I long for it. I long of the millions of black people to see good, independent, fundamental Baptist soul winning churches, the best churches we can give them. Amen. Amen. Standards. Amen. Amen. And I want them to have the best. And some of you don't know, there's so many black churches that don't teach the truth. You know? They've been deceived. They've been deceived. So many don't even have a man of God, have a woman behind the pulpit. So many of them trying to work their way into heaven. And they don't hear preaching like this. Some of them, you go to the church, they don't even have a Bible. It's the authorized King James Version. They don't even have the Word of God. Now, I know what's happening in the white areas. I know what's happening now. Rock bands and wicked music and, and in the churches. But it, you multiply it thousands times more. Uh, the disease is thousands times more. The crime, thousands times more. Life expectantly shorter. I, I will, I will, and, and, and don't, I don't want to say this in the wrong way. And, and I, might, I don't even want to say it, but I, I don't want to mention it. I, I never, ever want that person to be, uh, no, no. I'm just saying, God knows the need is great. I want to help people. It's so great. It's so terrible things are happening. Hey, kids, hey, you see what I get like that? You want to know, you want to know, I, 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 and, and you see, you calm down there. And I, I'm so thankful. The reason why I get that way is I want you to get something in your life. That one day you have happy marriages. And Satan will destroy your marriage. And no guy would beat on you. You don't get strung out on dope. You don't get raped. You know, you don't get used. You know, you're not carrying some baby around 12 years old. Or, or, or kill a baby and have abortion. And, and, and you cry yourself to sleep as you killed your baby. That's why I, I have such a burden for you. I just want you to, to I just want you to marry somebody that loves God. Amen, amen, amen. I don't want ever a white preacher or ever a white person say, Well, we can't have you in our family because you're colored. I don't want my son dating you. Oh, I don't want no black girl say to that white guy, You I, I my parents says, You're white. I, they'll never come to our wedding. That's stupid. That's idiotic. That's crazy. You know? I, I, I tell you, friend, this conference is so, so, so needed. So needed. I, I, I gave you these quotes because I, I want you to hear some of these quotes that um, that we, um, uh, you, we, we, we will hear what have been said, you know, um, a uh, quote here in Isaiah 58, 1 and of the scripture, right? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins, right? Does this include racism? It does. So when the preacher talks about this verse, why don't we cry out, cry out against racism? Everybody's not a racist, but there is a problem, right? Look at Luke 16, 8. And uh, uh, King James Version the Bible, and, and the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the what? Children of what? The children of light. Why should the liberals and the people of this world scream against racism while preachers be quiet? That's right. Come on now. Amen. 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 They, see, they, they see the evils of it. Come on now. Come on. Now. Come on. Come on, they cry out against this stuff. Right? Let's not let them be wiser than us. Let's take a stand against this. Isn't that right? Look at here. Um, giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not what? Blame. The gossip be no offense in what? Anything. Right? These, these are the handouts and certain things that I mentioned at our rare conference. I want to hear this stuff in these meetings that I go to with these white preachers. So let's don't offend the world. Let me say this. Temple Baptist Church in Detroit, Michigan, Pastor Truman Dollar came and took over that church, right? After my pastor 
um, after their pastor, uh, my president of my college, left, Dr. Truman Dollar, they called him, came in Temple Baptist Church in Detroit, Michigan. Guess what he said when he was pastoring that church? Guess what he said? This is what he said. He said, the vice president of the United States of America will not come visit our church because we make it known we will not baptize black people or blacks cannot be our members. He said, we must stop doing this. And he talked about the churches in Revelation that went bad. And he pulled them out of it. Of my knowledge, the devil went after him. And he put a bullet in the head. Is it true? I don't know if it's true or not. I have an affair or whatever. But he was one of my greatest teachers I ever heard preach. The devil hated. I'm not, I'm not justifying whatever he, if he was doing something wrong. But I'm saying, when you start messing with this stuff, what the devil has for years, this racism, mm -hmm. Satan's coming out. He hates it. And that's why you got to pray for us. It is the elephant in the room. Brother John Pinchuk, you've been around in many of the churches. You've been in the churches hardly any one black family. Some of them, brother, have settled. They have settled. They don't even want to mess with it. Now, watch, watch this phrase. It could be good or it could be bad. Be careful. They're attacking me with this. You know what they're saying, some of them? Listen to it. And which is good, but you got to watch where they're coming from. I don't see color. I don't see color. It's good. That's, that's nice. But you got to live in a real world. And there is color. You better know how to deal with it. You better know that when you don't see color, and you don't see a variety of color around you, and the Bible says evangelize and teach and get them in your church, you better be concerned why you ain't got that color in your church. Because God loves them. Amen. And it's your responsibility to win them. Amen. 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 Be careful. Amen. We got to be careful with that. You see? I, I talked to a well-known preacher that preaches around in many of the fundamental. By the way, when we say fundamental Baptist, so all y'all can understand, independent Baptist, if there's anything closer to the Bible as far as local churches, I'll quit the, uh, being an independent fundamental Baptist, and I'll be that. I promise you. But there's nothing closer to the Scripture. I'm talking about standing up, preaching, standards. I'm talking about doctrine. I'm talking about soul winning. I'm talking about not supporting um, a program where you're supporting people that don't believe the Bible, or, or let, let's say, let's say Mary, um, they, they, they say Mary wasn't a virgin, or they say the Scriptures is not inspired, or whatever. We don't want no Bible says be separated from that junk. That's right. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. 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 Or if they start having women preachers in, come on, come on, somebody say Amen. 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 God calls men. The man ought to be a pastor. It's a sin for a woman to be a pastor over men. 1 Timothy 2, 1 Corinthians 14. Amen. Come on, talk to me now. Amen. We'll change if there's anything that I see that's better. But independent fundamental Baptist movement. Okay, it started, uh, it came out of the, um, back in the 50s and 60s. They left the Southern Baptist Convention. They became independent Baptists. Amen. Because of so much corruption. Young girls, look at me. Young boys are not to be half naked down at the beach. You are not to be there. And the boys are lusting after you. And, and they're committing adultery. And, and here's a man. And why would this man want other men to look at the parts of the body of his wife? He said, what's this got to do anything? There was a time that preachers would preach like that in the Southern Baptist Church. Preach against it. Now some fundamentals don't even preach against it. Come on, preacher. Amen. Amen. Come on, talk to me now. Why? What's the importance of preaching against sin? Because sin caused death. 
Sin ruins. Yeah, I'm not for drinking liquor. I'm not just drinking alcohol. Put that bear away. It's destroying you. It'll destroy your home. Yeah. Proverbs 23 says don't look at it. Yeah, now, you, now you got some preachers that put the wine out, put the beer out. Oh, One of them said they got it downstairs. Okay, so these preachers left that garbage, okay? They left. And they became independent. They became independent Baptists. They said they want the best for their family. You know? And, and that's wonderful, isn't it? But some of them, when they left the Southern Baptists, they brought the racism with them of the Southern Baptists. They kept the other things. Were ladies dressed like ladies? Men dressed like men? Okay, okay. So... We stopped preaching against a lot of this. Let me ask you a question. How's it going in America? It's hard to tell the difference between the boys and the girls. It's hard to tell the difference between men and women. Seriously. Well, how's it going? Boys are getting their private parts cut off to be girlish. Hey, hey, you say, you know, not to talk like that. These kids hear worse. These girls are chopping their private parts off to be like a boy. Little kids, little kids have more rights than parents. Want to give little birth control pills without the parents' permission. Abortions without the parents' permission. Kill a baby. How's it going? How's America? How's it coming? How are we doing? They're getting on me preaching against sin. There was a time John the Baptist, he preached, he got his head cut off, but he kept on preaching. Paul, uh, he died as a martyr. He kept on preaching. Peter was crucified upside down. He kept preaching. Jesus, they hung him on a cross. He kept preaching. And now we got these whippy liberal preachers that don't want to scream against sin. Thank God for preachers that get up and love their people enough to preach. That's what I'm talking about. You understand? Amen. 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 You understand? I want the best for you. Amen. I want every city to have this. Amen. I want every place to have this. Amen. And through the years, we're able to keep people out of jail, keep people out of prison. Through the through years, we're able to keep their marriages together. For, for years, we're able to get them to stop being slapped around. For years, uh, we've been able to, and of course, some people don't listen to support, but we, there's a number of them that are serving God, loving God. Some of them have good marriages, and some of them, and to God be the praise, they're avoiding child support, uh, uh, avoiding alimony. I wish somebody would shout, uh, they, they don't, uh, to God be the praise, they don't have to kill themselves. They don't have to commit suicide. You, you say, well, they do it. They might, but we have put it off. We had put it off. And young people, don't take your life. Fall down to Jesus. Weep before Jesus. Cast your care upon him. Young people, I'm talking about love God. Serve God. I live on Selma. Selma Avenue in Knoxville. You ever hear of Selma, Alabama? You ever hear of Selma? Anybody know what happened on Selma? Bloody Sunday? Anybody know? Do you know how segregated Selma, Alabama? Just about my whole street of Selma is all black. But I love all people. And I care about all people. Amen. And we're striving to reach all people. Amen. And love them. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. I mean, going out on my street, it's in, in, in these years, in 30 years, it, there must have been about 50 people that have died, maybe 75, maybe 100. Not all by shootings, but different types of deaths. I walk out of my house, death there, death there, death there, death there. Going on the street, death there. Going on the street, death there. Not all of them, but murder here. Uh, dead body there. <laughs> but I love and I'm burdened for people. Amen. All people. Amen. Of course, Paul had a burden for the Jew, but he loved everybody. Amen. 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 
I was at, I, I was at a big meeting, a big meeting when I was in Bible college. I was praying. I was praying for pre black preachers. I didn't see any. I'd seen Harley. But, but John and Pitcher, he knows what I'm talking about. And he'll, he'll tell you, uh, the Bible colleges are some of the best. Not, not one black, not one black preacher, not one black college student. Hardly. Preachers. I'd pray God to raise them up. Amen. And I'm starting to see God raise up black preachers. Amen. Amen. Good Amen. fundamental Baptist preachers. Amen. I'm not talking about liberal preachers. Amen. Amen. No, preachers preaching. Amen. Amen. Isn't Amen. it wonderful? Amen. Amen. He's answering our prayer. Amen. Isn't that great? Amen. And, and, and some of the best meetings and preachings and teachings. And, and my heart would be so burdened for black people to have the best also. I was at the conference, the famous evangelist David Wood was evangelist, famous back in the 80s. With all the white people, I told you, I came in the place, and Pastor Lou Bowen was one of the first black pastors I seen, and, and, and Lonnie Stenson is at that meeting, that fellowship meeting. I was so thrilled to meet those guys. David Wood, the white evangelist, I didn't know him. He grabbed me by the shoulder. He knew I was a black Bible college student. He grabbed my shoulder and he said, brother, let me share something with you. And he's, he's famous throughout the world at that time. He's traveling all over. He said, do you know there are many of them will go to Africa, but they won't go to the black communities in America. I'll never forget it. A preacher boy. I came down here 25 years old. We're going to have a, he a, a, a heck of a, I almost cussed it out. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from, but a heck of a, well, we're going to have a great time. <laughs> Got to be careful up here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It didn't even sound right. But <laughs> we're going to have a great celebration. <laughs> we're going to celebrate 38 years, me pastor. Amen. 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 <laughs> look, look, look. All these years. And it's wonderful. And we're seeing God answer prayer. Yes. Amen. We're seeing God answer prayer. And God is raising them up. And he raised the church up. It's unusual the things you hear in this conference. And I'm getting positive things online. I'm getting positive things by phone calls. I'm getting positive things. We're making a change. There was a white preacher said he wasn't even going to come because I'm a black preacher. And he came and God took that prejudice out of his heart. And that one that took the prejudice out of his heart. He said, I thought you were all black churches. Well, even if you're all black churches, I've been to many white churches. <laughs> and it, I still went. Amen. 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 The church I got saved in, Faith Baptist Church, Wilcock, Connecticut, Amen. they didn't have one, no other black family or another black man. I, I, I loved my pastor. Amen. Amen. I went to Bible college. Amen. Amen. They loved me, I loved them. Amen. Amen. But he said he was going to come. But he's glad he came and he sent his son to visit our church. Yes, sir. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, sir. Amen. Isn't that great? Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one pastor, one pastor um, was teaching his son uh, that it's, you know, it's not right to interracial marriage or to like um, get married to another, you know, whatever. And uh, thank God his missionary son, and thank God for a daddy to humble himself. So, son, I always taught you to follow the Bible. I'm wrong, and you're right. I'm wrong, and you're right. I am no longer saying that it's a sin or it's wrong. If God's in it. Isn't that wonderful that a daddy humble himself? Amen. Isn't it wonderful that a grandparent would humble themselves? Amen. Hello. Amen. 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 Now, friend, I'm saying God is at work here. Amen. We are seeing the most beautiful couples that serve the Lord, that love God. Amen. Most Amen. beautiful couples. Amen. And, look, 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 and they're mixed kids. I'm, I'm tired of hearing that garbage. What are those kids going to go through when people look at their color? Wait, wait, hold, hold it, Joe. Hold it, hold it, hold it. God's a variety of colors. God's a variety. Look at all these colors. Look at all the balloon colors. Um, um, some like a black car. Some like a white car. It's shining. It's beautiful. What's the problem? Some like a brown car. I don't understand it. Some like chocolate. Some like vanilla. Some like strawberry. What's the beef, man? Oh, I'm getting concerned on some faces. One uh, percent of a face. <laughs> some ain't smiling. Some ain't I'm trying to get a crack and smile. Come on, I hope everything's okay. Amen. I hope everything's all right. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Come on. Amen. Everything okay? Amen. My burden. Let's pray. My burden.
bring it before the Lord. We're making a difference. Amen. We're making a difference, friend. Esther made a difference. But you got to bring that before the Lord. Amen. This is God's work. Amen. You got to keep pressing on, friend. You better bring it to Jesus. You go crazy. Right. I don't know what's burdens on you, but I know one thing. We better bring it to God. Woo! It could be for our children. Woo! It could be for our church. It could be for white people, for black people. But you better give that thing to God. Heads about eyes are closed, friends. Let me ask you a question. How many of you know you're going to heaven? You know you're saved. Would you raise your hand? How many of you know you're saved? Thank you. You can put your hand down. You can put your hand.